Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to this premiere. Um, we had so much fun making this 3435 remix video for you, and uh, we hope you love it. I thought I would come celebrate and join the countdown with you guys, which is something that I've never done before, but I'm very happy to be here. And I was very excited to get some questions from you all um, that I'm gonna be answering while I'm here. So I can't wait to celebrate this together and count down and answer some of your questions. Oh, this is a good one because it's 3435 related. Nor Grande said, um, I just wanna, it's just, I wanna, the end of 3435. Is it aw shit or no shit? I just wanna sing the song right. Um, it is indeed no shit. Me's a one sixty-nine, which is no shit. Ariana Locks one two two three said, "Will we get to see the tracklist before the song's release?" You will, indeed. Um, I can tell you them now. I suppose that's not like is that against the rules? Can I do that? So out of POV you go into um, an interlude called the Someone Like You Interlude. After that is a song called Test Drive. After that is the 3435 remix with Doja and Meg. And after that is a song called Worst Behavior. And after Worst Behavior is a song called Main Thing. So that's the track. 630 Marcus, which I thought said shitty Marcus. <laughs> Said, said, oh, this is actually a really cute tweet. Hold on. Um, he said, Ariana, how proud are you? I don't, I know you don't care about the charts or awards, but you've made such an impact on your fandom with this album. We all love it so much and love seeing this new chapter of your life blossom through the music. I hope you're extremely proud of yourself. This is the cutest, sweetest thing in the world. I don't think you realize how much it means to me to hear things like this. I appreciate it so much. I often feel like I don't <laughs> satisfy all of you as much as I want, I can and want to. And so that's a really, that, thank you. That's very sweet. And I appreciate that. That goes a long way. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus, 630 Marcus, I, who is not shitty Marcus. You're the least shitty Marcus, the Marcus I love. Um, Vivian at NTLTC, Viv, um, said, how's Ariana's hand after signing all the CDs? My hand is good. I think the thing that has been most effective in the signing of the booklets for you guys is just me doing them in advance and just like having a bunch of boxes at the house and signing them as I can. And like, I'll do some of them in the morning or I'll just do something random and I'll just get the boxes done and send them in. And then when they're ready for you guys, we send, we put them up so that they're already done and they ship right away and you don't have to wait. And that's been very effective, I think. My hand's good taking it small doses and I know they make you happy. So that is something that I have enjoyed doing for you guys. Ashanti at MOCA Swiss. Were the songs added to the deluxe recorded before or after the album release? Uh, they were recorded with the original um, batch of music, which is why I wanted to include them because I felt like I, in my head, always envisioned them coming out as a part of this era, this chapter, this storyline, this album, it felt like they needed to be heard and they needed to be kind of give the album a second life down the line. I always kind of envisioned it that way. Um, yeah, so they were, yeah, they were recorded and done with the original album. And I had to pretend that they didn't exist for a long time. So yeah, that was hard. Um, Blood's line at Blood's line. This question, I really, I'm really fond of this question because it's really to the point. Where's the pig? I love this question. Piggy's here. She's great. She's really doing so well and life is really good for her right now. She's really thriving and doing her thing. And um, I make her big salads every day that she really likes. She's doing really great. She asked me to stop posting her as much because she's actually really offended by a lot of your jokes that you make on Twitter. She asked me to have a word with you guys. She doesn't like the jokes about being eaten. They really hurt her. Um, yeah, and she asked me to convey that. No, she's great. Nicole 
at nasty CTR, oh, nasty control. Nicole said, who came, who helped come up with the concept for the Positions music video? Love you so much, Ari. I love you too. Love you so much more. Um, this is actually a really funny story. Dave and I had been going back and forth on several different concepts and I couldn't like marry one of them. I couldn't like really commit to one. I couldn't like, I wasn't a hundred percent sold and it was missing a certain element of like empowerment. And I kept, you know, trying to think of things that would make it more like impactful because I wasn't loving what was coming. And we were all on a call on a FaceTime, like pitching ideas and talking about it on a car ride home. And Dalton was driving and he just looked over at me and was like, what if you were the president? And I was like, <laughs> and Dave was like, oh, okay, call you guys back. <laughs> and then he had the whole production team redo everything. And I had Mimi pull completely different outfits and everything completely started over because that idea was what I was craving and missing. And I was like, wow, that's so perfect. So yeah, honorary directing credit, Dalton Gomez. <laughs> This is from Ace at GWS. Oh, get well soon, Ace. Uh, did you know that Positions would be the lead single during or after you finished the album? I love you so much. I love you more. Um, and no, this was actually like a huge debate. I'm actually, this is a cool story. I'm actually really proud of this story. Um, so for the longest time, everyone thought that 34, 35 was obviously gonna be the first single that was like a known thing like my team my friends everyone was kind of like looking forward to 34 35 being the lead and um I was like driving to Tommy's one day to finish one of the records I don't remember which one it was but I was driving over and I was listening to everything and I remember the moment where I was like, oh, Positions is really challenging 34, 35 in like a big way. And this is tonally what I want to set the pace for the album with, I think. Just like, I felt like it just felt more grown and more, uh, like more of an accurate representation of what was to come. So I remember that day and I remember telling everyone and everyone looking at me like I was a little bit crazy, except Tommy. Tommy's always like, and Ray actually, Ray was always team positions, but um, everyone else was kind of like, we got to talk her out of this. And um, they didn't. <laughs> Ray was like, I would, I would tell him, you have to text me every day reminding me that Positions is that girl because I, once I fought for it and once everyone was like, cool, we trust you. And the label was like, yeah, whatever you want. We trust you, you know this stuff. I was like, oh wow, oh shit. Now I have to remember that that's the right thing every single day. So every single day, Ray texted me and was like, positions is still that girl, good morning, reminder. So that was that. Good question. This is from Borderline Vinyl, who said, how much of the album was recorded at your little home studio? Um, a lot of it was, I think I did, um, parts of everything here and parts of things at Tommy's. I know I did um, the final chorus ad libs for positions at home. I know I did all of off the table at home. I know I did the final chorus of my hair at home because I got out of the shower and I was like, oh, my whistles are really here today. I should do something fun with this. And then I opened my hair and just randomly did that and it was fun. Um, what else did I do here? I did the, a lot of the backgrounds and ad libs for 34, 35 here. Um, I don't remember, obvious was done at home. Uh, a lot of 6.30 was done at home. This is an annoying answer. It was kind of, everything was all over the place, but I did a lot, a lot, a lot of the vocals from the, for the album at the house. This is from Mike at S-W-I-I-T-E-N-E-R. Mike said, which video games were you referring to in the line, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I'm bored and I wanna play video games at 2 a.m.? Mm, that's a good question. I think when I wrote it, I was referring to like Mario Party, Mario Kart, 
But now I would be like, if I sang it right now, I'd be talking about Zach boy. We beat Zach boy and that's, and that's, yeah, a big one. That was a doozy that game. This is from Nasty Obvious, not a question, but just a huge thank you for sharing your art with us. We're insanely grateful for you and oh, for it and genuinely adore everything about positions. That again means so much to me because I know it's not your ideal, it's not been your ideal era and it's like weird times, but I appreciate that a lot because it's been one of my favorites as well. And I couldn't love you or this music or this chapter more. So thank you. And I really appreciate that. That go that like I'll think about that later and be like, oh good. <laughs> Lindsay at Grateful with Ari said, could we get some footage of the making of the album? I would die for that. You feel me? Well, Lindsay, I we do have some actually. Um we have been trying to come up with, find a home for it because we only unfortunately started taping towards the way end of the process. But I do have some really cool footage. I'm wondering if I want to make that into something larger or if I just want to post it on Instagram. Sarah at Sarah Matos, Sarah with three A's and two S's with Matos at the end with two S's. What made you want to put out these songs as a deluxe version rather than putting them on the on future albums? Oh, that's a cool question. I think because they're so contextually attached to this era and this album, like if you listen to them, it's like, oh yeah, that's definitely that, that part of that conversation, a part of that world, a part of that thing. Um, yeah, I think it just was, I would rather not just throw them into another era and I would love for you to hear them as a second life just adding more context to this album in this era that was i think that's a better fit ivan at rem to heaven said what about the end of love language is that a snippet of a new song no it's not it's just uh it's actually not it's just a little thing that i was going to make an interlude but it's like 15 seconds so i was like that's kind of crazy um but yeah, I wanted it to live on its own. I tried writing more to it and having it be like a longer thing and it didn't feel as special as it felt just being a tiny little button on love language. So yeah, that's the only version that exists. That's the only, yeah, little interlude moment. Uh, and finally, this is a really interesting question. Bella loves Ari, oh wait, Bella loves Ariana at Ari's R.E.M. If you had to take one track off the original Positions track list and replace it with one of the deluxe tracks, which would it be? I think that's a really interesting question. Um, I think I have, I have like two option answers. One of them is I think I would have, not because I don't love them as songs, not because I don't love this as a song. I love it as a song and I love its place on the album and sonically, I love it so much. But I think I would take my hair out just because it's an older song and replace it with something that was like written during the time of this being born. And I would do, I would take my hair and replace it with a main thing or love language with test drive because that was my dilemma in putting the original track list together. It was kind of like the hardest decision for me was whether or not test drive or love language was gonna fill that spot. And I love how it ended up. I wouldn't change anything about it really, but I just thought this was a really interesting question. So yeah. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. I love you guys. I miss you. I am so appreciative of everything that you've done for this album, for these singles, for this music. I hope that um, that this makes you super happy. I hope this makes you smile. We had so much fun shooting it and um, the girls are so fantastic. So I hope you love this and I hope you love the deluxe. I am so thankful for everything and for the love that you've shown this music. I can't even begin to articulate it properly. So thank you. I appreciate it so much. Mwah. Bye.